The pandemic changed the world in many ways, and it obviously impacted the sports world in a big way as well. We didn't have sports for a long time, and it made athletes around the globe make a lot of difficult decisions, but it also led to some rule changes that opened up new avenues for a lot of athletes. And now that we have hindsight to look back on things, we saw Jamar Chase absolutely run away with Offensive Rookie of the Year, and Micah Parsons run away with Defense of the Rookie of the Year and become a Defensive Player of the Year candidate. Well, this is interesting interesting to me and I think we need to acknowledge that both of these players opted out of the 2020 college football season. It took away a season's worth of field experience for them, but it also took a season's worth of hits off their body, gave them an entire year to fully train for the NFL, not worry about classes, being able to watch NFL film and prepare for the combine and perfect their craft off the field. We also saw LaShawn Slater opt out and become a first year Pro Bowl starter at left tackle for the Chargers. So now we have the question. With different avenues in the NBA being introduced like the G League or playing professionally overseas like a mellow ball did instead of college, should prospects, and I'm thinking 21 positions besides the quarterback position maybe, but we'll cover that later, should they consider foregoing their final year of college eligibility to train full-time if they've already been considered a top 10 prospect after their sophomore season? What are the advantages to this? What are the disadvantages? And what would this do to college football? Well, in today's video, we're going to cover all of this and much, much more. There is a lot to unpack, so let's get into it and let's stir up some really interesting conversation. And we've seen this before, not going to college, especially in the punting position, where an Australian football player will have no college experience, come into the NFL, and have a lot of success. So let's start with the advantages of a top prospect not to play their final college football season. The first thing we need to talk about is the physical aspect of it, especially positions like running back and receivers who take take a lot of hits and have a shorter shelf life in the NFL than some other positions. This is a big conversation on what NFL prospects should do when it comes to bowl games that aren't the playoffs. Should they risk injury to be a team player? And this is highly debatable. And we're talking about a full season now. And it might be seen as worse, but maybe it's seen as not as bad because they didn't fully commit to a season with the program. But players do have to think about this. Jamar Chase would have been a top 10 pick coming out of his sophomore season. He was taken fifth overall by the Bengals, as we all know. But what if, God forbid, he tore his ACL in week eight of his junior year? Where would he have been drafted if that were the case? And it is a really morbid hypothetical, but it is a valid one with the nature of a very violent sport. And he's not taking the 84 plus hits that he took in the 2019 season all over again. The next thing we need to think about is the time involved. College is an amazing time. And being a student athlete is a full-time 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. job. A lot of people struggle with with the student part of that alone. But now factor in practices, film sessions, travel time, studying, classes, media, rehab and recovery, if a top prospect were to opt out, they would have seven days a week to train and not being an amateur anymore and with the nature of NIL, they would have no problem getting a full-time trainer to be a program to be a part of. Jamar Chase had a YouTube video of what he did during his off year. He had so much time to just solely focus on his routes, his training at very minimal risk of injury, no temptations of parties or distractions and everything that comes with being on a college campus. And he took full advantage of this and the best college prospect spends a lot of time watching film to elevate their game. But we always talk about the transition from the college game to the NFL game, but now they can sit down one-on-one -on -one with someone and watch countless hours of NFL film, which most players don't even get to do until after the combine. Micah Parsons was able to have a great understanding of NFL coverages, route concepts, and offensive lineman techniques. He obviously had all of the talent and the physical advantage over everyone in the Big Ten he was going against, but he was able to prepare for very complex NFL defenses and going against 30 plus year old veteran linemen. And this was huge and he was able to be a day one plug in for the Cowboys, calling plays and being able to play multiple positions on the defense with ease, never looked confused or didn't know what his assignment was. He was able to play fast and instinctively. And this is not common for rookies, especially on defense at positions like linebacker and corner. Now we need to talk about some of the disadvantages to that side idea because there are definitely some big implications to this. One of them being what would this do to college football as a whole? 
Every sport is a star-driven league. The best players in the country at any sport are going to draw in an audience. And college football will always dominate Saturdays in the fall. But what kind of hit would it take if all the top 10 prospects decided to sit out? I think a lot of players would take some serious pressure from teammates and college football plans if they chose to make this decision. And we obviously have a small sample size of top prospects doing this with these three guys. But what if this becomes a more popular trend and they don't have a Pro Bowl rookie season like all three of these guys did. This is the same thing and the same argument we have in the NBA coming out of high school. We have guys like Kobe, LeBron, Kevin Garnett, but there's also some examples like Kwame Brown. What is the backlash from college fan bases if they get robbed of seeing their best player only to be a bust in the NFL? This is what could absolutely happen if this becomes a common trend because there are some very notable top 10 draft pick busts. But I'm still on the fence of this, but I did acknowledge it earlier on in this video, but I think this applies to every position besides the quarterback one as of now. That is because I think this is the one position where field experience is so, so, so incredibly important. And I have no idea where to stand when it comes to bowl games, especially with examples like Matt Corral this year and where his draft stock's at now. But I think playing quarterback on the field is 99% of the time going to benefit from playing more rather than sitting. And that's where I'm at right now. So let's bring this all together and I think the answer is going to be obvious but let's elaborate because the answer is it depends and more specifically be who you can afford to be if you win best receiver in college football or if you win best lineman or linebacker or corner in college football I think the argument is very solid and the advantages are undeniable but abuse leads to restriction if players who are mid to late first round picks start opting out I think this can overall be a huge negative it would really be an impact on the quality of college football and the backlash would be massive if the players didn't end up working out in the NFL for whatever reason. I think the next few people who would go out to try this would be absolute trailblazers because there isn't an excuse for COVID anymore and they should be very careful and very confident in their abilities and above all else, take the year off very seriously put in the work, do all of the things that are advantageous to not being on a college campus and pave the way for future players. But if some dumbasses try it out, it is very possible that this could be seen as a joke of an idea and they could ruin it for everyone. But after watching this season in the NFL and watching rookies like Jamar Chase and Mike, Micah Parsons win Rookie of the Year respectively and Rashawn Slater be a starter in the Pro Bowl, I really wanted to make this video and cover this topic. But let me know what you guys think and make sure to like this video if you like videos like these make sure to comment down below what you think about this idea and have good debate don't be disrespectful for anyone but have good conversation because that's what it's all about and make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content i appreciate y'all so much thank you so much for checking out the channel and as always i will see you all tomorrow peace